What if you could be the most seductive man in the world? And what if instead of seducing others, all that you really had to do was seduce yourself? I know that sounds kind of weird, so let me explain. You see, most guys, while attempting to get more attention from girls, set out to learn how to seduce girls when all that they really need to understand how to do is to seduce their own mind. Now, the most seductive man in the world is already inside of you. And despite the fact that most of us are always in our heads far more often than we should be, we fail to miss the elephant in the room, the one thing that truly matters. Sure, understanding the psychology of others is important, but what's really important is to understand our own psychology, or more importantly, how to unlock it. All the so-called players, or the guys that girls are always after, have unlocked a part of their psychology that most guys simply have not unlocked. This is why girls are always chasing those guys and not the guys who haven't done this. What you guys have to realize is that it's all in the mind. We can't create anything in the external world until we first create it within our own mind. For hundreds or even thousands of years, men have been tricked into thinking some of the most ridiculous things, particularly when it comes to girls. How many of you grew up thinking that girls just want a nice guy? How many of you grew up thinking that girls will only choose a man with lots of money? How many of you fell for the infamous soulmate concept that has been fed to us for at least the last few hundred years through most Hollywood movies? Now the good news is you don't necessarily have to unlearn all these incorrect beliefs that have been planted inside of you growing up. All that you really need to do is replace all these beliefs with one very powerful one. Now let me explain. So many of the things that we do as men are aimed at what? So many of the things that we do are aimed at proving ourselves to somebody else. Or more specifically, many of us do things to prove ourselves to girls. So many of the things that we do as men are unconsciously designed to prove ourselves to girls. And in psychology, usually when a person must go out of their way to prove something to someone, the opposite of what they are trying to prove is usually the truth. This is why you see so many guys who strive to make tons of money so they can buy a nice Mercedes, and they try to use money as a tool or other things as a tool to try to prove themselves to girls. In this world, just like you have men who really are rich, you have men out there who really are what they appear to be. But the reality is that most are fakes. Most guys, typically by being way too nice to girls, are trying to prove themselves. Some guys will offer to buy things for a girl and others will just give them way too much attention. What's really happening is that we're all doing the same exact thing, but in different ways. The guys who girls can't stand are the ones who are always trying to prove themselves. Because psychologically, what does that say about you? It says that if you have to go out of your way to prove yourself to others, it simply means that deep down, you do not think you are worthy. Because if you did think you were truly worthy, then you wouldn't try so hard to prove it to other people. In other words, you wouldn't care what others think of you. Now you always hear people saying that girls want a guy who is confident. And the literal definition of confidence is to be sure of yourself. And it is devoid of the need to prove oneself. Guys who try to hide their insecurities behind things like wealth or arrogance get tested hard by girls. Because girls automatically get skeptical and they want to see if a man is somebody who got those nice things because of his confidence or if he's just another guy who is trying to hide his lack of confidence behind those nice things. Girls will test the arrogant man hard and fast because they want to see if this man's arrogance comes from a true place of confidence and from no desire to prove himself or if he's just another guy who's using the arrogant attitude to hide his lack of confidence. Now, the most seductive man in the world is a man who has unlocked his own psychology. It's a man who doesn't need to prove himself to others, especially girls. But how do you unlock your psychology? Now, as is the case with most things in life, it really is as simple as believing in yourself and what you are doing. Because when you truly believe in yourself, you get to stop caring what other people think about you, and then you no longer feel the need to prove yourself. But the hardest part, as always, is actually doing it. The hardest part is practicing what you've learned, and the hard part is why most guys simply don't do it. And this is why you have so many guys who spend all of their time constantly trying to prove themselves to girls, and then they never actually get any of the attention that they're trying to get. And what usually happens is they just end up coming off as the most unattractive man in the world, rather than the most seductive man in the world. This is the most seductive man, and with that said, you guys are amazing. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.